HET is the Human Exploration Telerobotics Project. Uh, it's a project that's all about using remotely operated robots to improve human space exploration. The Telerobotics Project is really trying to understand how we can improve the way that humans live and work in space. Uh, we want to remove uh, a lot of the repetitive, redundant uh, chores that humans have to do. Uh, on Space Station, for example, the crew spends a lot of time doing in-flight maintenance work. And so we're trying to use Robonaut 2 and the Smart Spheres to, to basically offload this work from crew and do these uh, kinds of things routinely using robots. The other thing that we're trying to do is use remotely operated robots to extend and enhance the ways that astronauts can work in space. So part of this has to do with the idea of having astronauts in a spacecraft operate robots on planetary surfaces. This past summer, we spent a lot of time working with crew on Space Station, uh, with actually three different Space Station astronauts controlling a planetary rover, the K-10, at NASA Ames. Uh, the goal of all this was to understand how can humans, astronauts in space, use planetary rovers to do work without having to actually land on a planetary surface. This coming year, we're doing two really exciting things. Uh, the first is we're actually adding a pair of legs to Robonaut 2 on the space station. Uh, for the past two years, Robonaut's been working, but it's really just been upper body. The torso, uh, head, two arms, and hands, and doing a lot of dexterous, fine manipulation work. Uh, but this coming year, we're adding a pair of legs, and so now the system, once it's all put together, will be fully mobile, and then able to go around the entire space station inside and do work, uh, not just be located in one fixed location. The second thing we're doing this year is really uh, an interesting experiment trying to understand how can we have a free-flying robot, the smart spheres, navigate without any existing other infrastructure. Uh, up until now, we've been working with a beacon system. So think of it like an indoor global positioning system where we have fixed uh, uh, ultrasonic transceivers, beacons that send information to the robot to figure out where it's located. But this year, we're trying to do that navigation, flying around inside a space station without any of that. And so we're using basically the same sort of sensors that you find on a Kinect. Uh, you know, on a video game, but putting it on board the space station to get a 3D view of what the interior of the space station looks like so we can fly around. One of the things that uh, we're really excited about is the ability for astronauts to do work without having to put on a spacesuit, uh, go through the process of uh, going outside of the spacecraft, and uh, of course, turn around and doing the same thing coming back in. But being able to use robots that are already outside of spacecraft to do work right away. Um, our long-term goal is to be able to have systems like Robonaut 2 or an external free-flying robot be able to do inspection on the outside of spacecraft, to do uh, site preparation, to do change out of various payloads, uh, resupply of things on the outside, and how will this all be under the control of astronauts sitting inside the comfort of the spacecraft. This year is actually the fourth year of the Telerobotics Project, uh, and we're actually coming to a close at the end of this year. Um, our two major activities are really integrating legs to Robonaut 2 and doing a, a test with the navigation with the smart spheres. Um, after that, we're looking at follow-on projects that can take the technology we've developed and infuse them into upcoming NASA missions.